you had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a vlog for you um, because I really want to get my autumn stuff out of the garage. It is literally near the end of September. I feel like I'm so behind. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like, because we haven't had a summer as such, I, I just don't know where I am or what I'm doing. It's going to be Christmas before I know it, but the kids do love me decorating for autumn. And so, and because I have loads of autumn stuff, like, I might as well but it's just one of those things I've been putting off but I thought I would vlog today as well because it's going to be a super busy day but today's video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh as well. I love working with HelloFresh on videos like this because it just shows how it slots into my life pretty easily when I've got so much on and what's also great is that HelloFresh have bought out a new type of meal as well called Super Quick which is even quicker than the rapid meals that they do and I'm super excited to try them because anything that can be quicker and shave some time off meal planning and preparation works for me. If you don't know, I've worked with HelloFresh for a long time now. I absolutely love the convenience of it because it's meal preparation basically delivered to your door so you get all your fresh ingredients, new recipes every week and I find it really, really helps me out especially after a long busy day like today. I haven't stopped. I've wanted to get the house ready for autumn and yeah, the dog is just completely mugging me off, aren't you, with your squeaky toy? Anyway, HelloFresh has just arrived and I'm trying out some new things this time. They have just launched their super quick meals. These can be done in under 15 minutes. And I've picked this one to try, which I'm going to do tonight, which is the Thai green style chicken curry. Because I love the curry that they normally do, but it takes a little bit longer, whereas this is, like it says, super quick. The one thing I love about HelloFresh is obviously they're the super quick meals that they have just launched, but they also do things that are rapid meals and they also do calorie smart meals like this one, which basically means it's lowering calories and that's really good for me, calorie counting. So yeah, I absolutely love HelloFresh. You get all the fresh ingredients to create your own meals and then you get a recipe card so you can actually recreate it yourself because it tells you what ingredients you need, etc, etc. So with my code Mrs Dudley, you will be able to get 60% off your first box and then 25% of your next eight boxes. So make sure you use my code here or you can also click or scan this QR code, which I will leave here nice and handy for you so you can use that as well. But don't forget to try them and if you do use them, use my code to shop that offer and try HelloFresh. I'm super excited to be trying this one tonight, so I'm sure I will be showing you how I get on with it. Okay guys, so I'm just off down my garage. I'm gonna start getting my autumn decorations out. Okay, so if anyone watches Friends, this is my moniker cupboard, okay? So don't judge me. Behold, the moniker cupboard. Um, right, okay. <laughs> That was supposed to be originally going in the loft and uh, that didn't happen. I need to do a tip run for that. That's a brand new swimming pool that we didn't use. This needs to go to all the tip, but you know, that's for another day. Um, Christmas, now I've just got to find Halloween. So that is Easter, I'm pretty sure. Christmas, that's Christmas. I have a horrible feeling. Hmm, hold on. That's Easter. I actually need those baskets. Halloween bucket. Oh, I have a feeling this one might be Halloween. No, that is memories. I think that may even be Christmas. Oh, I'm going to have to move this swimming pool, aren't I? Hold on. I just can't grip it, man. <laughs> oh my god. This is not ideal. The most annoying thing is I've picked this pool up that many times. It's 
think I'd be okay. But no. Okay. Right. To say that this garage is cleaning out is like the understatement of, a cent of the century. Um, I don't even know what's in half of these boxes anymore. But this is definitely Christmas. So you can go here. If I put Easter on the shelf where they're supposed to go, that is a weed. That's a really freaky weed. Oh my God. Ah! I officially need to clean this um, garage out. I probably should have um, made more of an effort while the weather was nicer. I feel like things are on me. I feel like it's on me. Oh wow. Halloween bag's heavier. And there's a lot of dead spiders on it. Nice. Yeah, I could really do with doing a tip run, for sure. An empty inlet. This is like a big um, dip station and punch bag stand. I don't really know what to say to do with it, whether to sell it or... It was for Matt, but it's too big for his gym. Let's just take back my bag. I can't believe there's only one bag. I'm really impressed with myself. I don't think there's any more Halloween. Yeah, let's go back to the house. Let's get out of here. I feel like I've got trauma from being in there. Oh. Anyway, Halloween stuff recovered. I'm gonna drive back to the house now. So basically we rent a garage because we don't have a garage on the house, which is annoying. But very, I'm very grateful that we have that extra space, but wow. Um, when it comes to Christmas, having to take the Christmas tree up and back down from the garage. It's a nightmare because we have to carry it like it doesn't fit in the car. Anyway, back to the house I go. Hi, okay, so it's a lot later on. I am froze to death. I've really tried to hang out till October to put um, the heating on, but I'm freezing. I think I might actually put the fire on. Got my Halloween stuff, autumn stuff out of the garage so i thought i'd do let's like an unbox with me of all the stuff that i hoard every year and um, i'm hoping to have like a little bit of a sort through of this if i'm completely honest and um, because there's a few things that i don't really not that i don't really do anymore but i just feel like I don't put everything out. So anything I don't put out this year, I'm going to get rid of. So the first thing that's in here, I know exactly what it is. This is a beautiful, these are two beautiful garlands from a lovely small business called Ivy and Poms. Um, I ordered this and like I say, it's nice to order things like this because you can use them year in, year out. This is like a little pumpkin garland. Samson, no. This is like a little pumpkin garland. The dog is gonna try and eat every single thing I get out. Um, and then last year I bought the back garland, which is this one. Um, Samson, no. So this one is the back garland and they are just so beautiful. They're all handmade. Um, and yeah, so this one goes in here normally and then the pumpkin garland goes in the kitchen. So I have that one to put up, which I will put up. Do you think it's lovely getting your stuff out every year? You just forget, don't you? So this one, oh, this is just like some pumpkin plates and little skull shot glasses. Then this is my gorgeous bar, um, pumpkin that I had. I've had this from Home Sense years ago, but this one I think I might sell because. I just have so many pumpkins and I know that there's some other really beautiful ones in here. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side for a second. I have my, <laughs> this beautiful felt pumpkin. Samson, it is not for you. It is not for you. This one is from Hobbycraft. Um, I love this felt pumpkin. This one normally goes upstairs. Um, I've got some spiders web and spiders, which I might keep for now. Maybe I need a bag for like proper Halloween, Halloween stuff. Um, I've got my bag of pumpkins. 
these like all these little miniature pumpkins i love um something like this one stop it stop it i love like this one i sprayed all the stems gold because they were originally green um, and i spray painted the stems gold but i love like some of the stems on these these were originally from um this one look these were originally from um amazon i believe and then in the bottom i do have a little ceramic pumpkin this is a candle it still smells although it does smell a little bit like toilet duck this is from primark it was four pounds it's still got the price tag on the bottom but like i am gonna get everything out because like i said i've got my sideboard to decorate i've got that little cake stand that i bought if you saw that vlog last week so i'm probably going to utilize that this is my oh got a little wreath i don't remember having a wreath that small i thought it was bigger than that but maybe not that's a little wreath which i can put on the door um what else do i have oh this one is stunning this again is another primark one it's like this beautiful beige um color so i'm definitely going to keep this one this one will probably go down here um a skull no this is not for everyone i don't really do like halloween halloween like scary halloween i do more like fall but i do actually really like the aesthetic of a skull does that make me weird um but yeah i thought this would be really nice with like some uh autumnal foliage or something the kids love it so you know he's here to stay um this is my favorite pumpkin ever this i got from home sense last year it actually lights up um but i never put any batteries in it i don't think because i just love it the way it is this is like a wooden pumpkin we've just cut out it just goes with my decor so so nice um this is here to stay i actually um did this with this pumpkin last year i think i just had like the two of those on my fireplace so probably will keep those i'm not doing very well with my getting rid of stuff am i this is a strobe light which we'll probably get rid of because we never use that um what is in here this is a hanging ghost again kiddie kind of thing now these oh, i can get to them so i've got my glass jar my glass jar pumpkin this is home bargains um this one i might get rid of because i don't ever use it like it's really nice to put all the trick or treat sweets in um so i might keep it for that i might keep it by the front for the trick or treat sweets but lucas and leo always like to give out the sweets and then it's like quite heavy being glass so we will see about that this one is actually a cauldron in here which actually blows out smoke stop it which actually blows out smoke um so i will keep this because this is really good if you have like a party it's a really nice centerpiece so i'm going to keep that another little felt pumpkin these i love so these will go in um my where i normally have so i have cherry blossoms in spring and then i switch them out for these for like autumn um i just think they're nicer and then when winter comes like christmas i put some like gold in there as well so i love these these are from primark these are just a pound a stem one real good tip is after like autumn and everything just go into the sale and see what you can get so i bought these um, a couple of years ago in the sale so i had like 10 stems for 10 pounds so it was really reasonable in fact i think they were 50p i'm lying i think they were 50p so i had like 10 stems for 50 for um five pounds yeah I've got no idea what is in here. There's a lot of pad work, padding. Oh my gosh. This is actually another pumpkin. Biscuit jar. I can't believe I kept this one. So I forgot about I had that. See what I mean? That's what I think I might get rid of the glass glass pumpkin but this my back door this was actually from poundland ages ago i don't know what to do with that i might keep it these are some placemats that i got from 
um, Poundland. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the tableware together actually and put them in a box and use them as and when. Hanging witch hats, never used them last year, might use them this year. Um, these are just loads of things that I bought that I didn't use. So the hanging bats. Ooh. Um, so massive spider I think I might actually get rid of now because we won't use that now. Um, the dog is probably gonna eat it. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a dying ember actually going to be really testing how good these super quick meals are because it's quarter to eight matt has is coming back at eight and then he has a client at half past so i have to get this ready in those 15 minutes i've got 15 minutes literally Test. 
Can live with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, very nice. Samson's waiting for some already. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, I've got so much to do today. I have got to pop to Primark. I'm going to do a Primark haul today. Um, I've got to pop to Home Bargains. There's a few like cleaning bits that I want to get um, for the new season. I just love getting different scents for around the house for different times of year. I'm hoping I can get my hands on something. Fingers crossed from Home Bargains. Um, and then what else do I need to do? Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of running errands again today. It's been a really, really busy week. Um, but yeah, let's go and um, see what's in stores. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride out of the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. So it is the next day now. It kind of cut off while I was showing my Halloween decorations and realised that it was just it kind of ended. Anyway, I was putting my autumn decor up last night. But before I end the vlog, I just thought I'd show you quickly what I got from Home Bargains. Um, because I just popped in there to get some like autumn cleaning things. Um, yeah. Basically, first thing I will quickly show you though is if you have kids or if you love a movie night, these popcorns that you get in the home bargains are such good value for money. They're four for a pound and they do loads of different types, but I got some sweet and some, well, I got four sweet and four salted. They're four for a pound. I don't think you can beat it. The kids love it. Me and Matt love to do it when we're watching a film. So they had that offer back on because they had it, they took the offer off for a while. Um, so yeah, I picked up loads of those. Um, and then, huh, I got some cleaning bits. So just thought I would quickly share, I mean, cleaning bits on for everybody. Picked up some of this easy, seriously thick bleach. This is actually really good to get your toilets white. It's not as good as the Harpic, but it is a decent bleach. Um, because it's only, I'm sure it's like, 79p uh 69p i mean really good value so i always pick up one of those and i also got a couple of the harpic pine i bought a couple of these the last time i went in um but i really love the smell so i got a couple more of those i also got a new pink stuff because i need to clean my oven um and the oven door, I just find like pink stuff works really, really well. Sometimes you use just like washing up liquid and a bit of bicarb. Um, but 
I have a few tough stains and my old pink stuff had gone a bit funny. So I picked up another one of these, £1.49. I wish they did a smaller one if I'm honest because I only use a tiny, tiny bit and then the rest always seems to go off. So I need to shop around, see if they do a smaller um, tub. Does anyone know if they do? But I got this one anyway, um, which is an 850 gram tub and that was only £1.49. So that's always good to have um okay so i picked up some cool things i put my cool things i'm getting so old um i picked up some swing bin swing bin liners but these had a vanilla fragrance in them it was 20 for a pound and i thought how nice for a kitchen bin um i've only got a tiny bin but i use bigger liners and then when it's full i get the bin out and i use it to like tidy up around the house if that makes sense so i picked up two of those then i also bought some more things for my plugins i've got the febreze triple trio plugin thing um but this one the new spiced apple smells insane so when mine run out i'm going to use these i've got like a peony blush in there or something at the moment but these smell so nice and i know a couple of people actually said to me about being worried about them like with the animals um I, I get that like although this is safe around animals they say it's not advised because it's like the level of dogs and cats like the noses but our plugins aren't by where the dog is a lot if that makes sense we've got one by the front door and i've got one out the back of the, down the back of the house where the dog doesn't go so i try and keep them away from where the animals are if that makes sense but they are perfectly safe with animals it's just that some people say they don't recommend them and i can get i can understand why because obviously a dog's sense of smell is heightened i don't know if they were dangerous to animals they would obviously advise it but they're okay just as long as they're not in their area the places where they go a lot so like i wouldn't plug it anywhere near his food or near his bed or anywhere like that do you know what i mean but i picked up a couple of those because i really liked the smell these were 2.99 each and then finally what i actually went in for was this so this is the flora spray i already used the midnight blooms one which is like a dupe of the alien perfume love that smell so so much but cranberry and orange is my favorite sephora scent for autumn and winter i just love it so so much i've got that much of the actual liquid uh, and my friend said they've got the spray in and i was like i need it whenever i smell this it just reminds me of autumn like just it's one of those smells that i now associate with autumn um so yeah i picked up one of those i should have got two really um it was two pound 39 so yeah i got that so a little bit of a cleaning haul for you which i thought i would share with you but thank you so much for watching today's vlog i hope you enjoyed getting ready for autumn with me and enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'd love for you to subscribe and stick around also thank you so much to hellofresh for sponsoring this video if you do shop with hellofresh please don't forget to use my code mrs dudley to get your 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next eight boxes and until next time guys take care bye